But if you say, if you always do the same things, uh, the muscle gets used to it. And this is what Arnold Schwarzenegger called like shock your muscle yeah. sometimes with new things. And this is uh, like you have to sh uh, or you have to be open to change your to change your opinions and how you see the world. Uh, some weeks ago, Charlie Munger died, the, the partner of Warren Buffett. Uh, yeah. And you know, Warren Buffett is one of the uh, richest men in the world. And uh, his partner, Charlie Munger, was, uh, I think, as important as he was for the investments. And, and what he said, Charlie Munger, is that a year when I didn't change my mind about an important thing is a lost year. And he was also the, the man who, who, um, who learned a lot and was opened for new ideas. And not only reading books about uh, finances or money. He read a lot of uh, books about successful uh, people, uh, biographies, autobiographies, mm -hmm. history, and different stuff. So he had, was very open-minded. And uh, this is the way to, to success. At the end of the day, right? There's a fantastic, again, you talked about Berkshire Hathaway, and I love, love what, uh, what they've done in the past 100 years. Uh, coming back to this, there's a quote that I, it's very close to me, and it, it goes like this. How big would you dream if you knew you couldn't fail? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. This is, uh, I, I ask always people, um, the, the most important thing in life is the, your goals. How big are the goals that you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Most people have no goals at all. I want to be happy, I want to have a good job or something like this, but this is not what I call a goal. And there are some people who have big goals and some people who also write down, I write down big goals. I think it's, I do it every New Year's yeah. Eve and a lot of successful people write down their goals. And I think sometimes big goals are easier to reach than small, most people think, the, the, the bigger the goal is, the harder it is to... No, in, it's, sometimes it's exactly. different. I give you one example. Yesterday, I had this um, uh, lecture there with students. Mm -hmm. There was one really pretty student there. And I talked to her, here, come on uh, in front of her. She was the prettiest one. And I said, I think if she goes, in, for example, in a club, in a disco, there will be not so many men speaking to her than to someone who looks not so good. Why? Because they think, oh, she's so pretty, she's not for me. I will go better to someone else who don't look so good. So the competition, of course, some people go there, of course, but the competition is not so good. Think about your company. If, if you work in a company with um, 500 people, how many of them want to be the CEO? Only a few. It's not that everyone would want to be the CEO. Most uh, are happy with the way as oh, it, it is. It has, it and, is. And so bigger goals mean a bigger motivation for you, a bigger motivation. And my book here, Set Yourself Bigger Goals, it starts with the story of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I admire him and I can r recommend to everyone, not only reading my book, mm -hmm. Also watch, there's a movie now on Netflix yeah. about Arnold Schwarzenegger's yeah. life in three parts. Yeah. And I, maybe I can tell the story short because Please you can go for it. learn a lot. When he was young, 13 years, his goal was to be the biggest bodybuilder in the, in world. the world. And people laughed at him. His parents said, ah, maybe I will have to go to the doctor. Something is not, what does it mean? Bodybuilding, this is crazy idea at his uh, in his uh, children's uh -oh. room, he had this, uh, pictures from uh, naked men and so on. Maybe his, uh, uh, his um, mother thought maybe he's gay or what happens w w with him. His father said he's so. But then he reached his goal. He became the biggest bodybuilder in the world. With 20 years, he went to the United States and he spoke no word English at this time. Nothing. Lived in the gym. So, so and, and then... Then he reached everything, became Mr. Universe, Mr. Olympia, and all what you can reach in bodybuilding. And then his next goal was, I want to become an actor, movie star. Hercules. And, and, <laughs> yeah, and people laughed at him. They said, hey, you're from Europe. It's very rare that someone from Europe can be successful. Look how, how many people were successful come for, for Europe. And then the next thing, 
uh, you have a strange accent uh, from Austria, much much harder even than than uh, than my accent now. No one can understand you and your name. No one can pronounce. What does it mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger? They recommended him to give him another name like Arnold Strong or whatever. Uh. And then look your body. This is this is from the 50s with Hercules movies, the, your body. But today we want to have people like Dustin Hoffman, not yeah. with your body. Forget it. You will never. But he had the will. And of course, with the first movies, he was not successful. He got an award for one of the 100 worst movies ever, ever made, made in the, in, in the world. Yes. But then he went on and he, he became successful with movies the as Conan the Barbarian, uh, Conan, Barbarian <laughs> Termina Ter Terminator. Yeah. But then he had the next goal. He don't want to be only with muscle action star, he want to go to comedy. And and what was interesting, if you read his autobiography, yeah. then it in one page he writes, then I started to learn humor. I think it sounds <laughs> a little bit most people think I have humor or I have not. But he said, no, I started to learn like humor. humor because it's like a swarm, like a learning machine to learn. So uh, um, bottom up, in the end with his movie Twins, he earned 30 million dollars. Uh, with a comedy, and he be became one of the best paid movie stars in Hollywood. And then he said, I will go to politics. I think if he could do it, he, he would l love to run for, for president, president for the United States. But it's not possible, because according to the American Constitution, you, you have there. to be born there, and he was not born there. But he became governor of, the I think it was the fifth biggest um, economy in the world at this time, California, and became governor not only one time, two time. And all from a boy born in Austria in a small village with a uh, difficult uh, childhood and with a father who was obviously uh, drunken mm -hmm. and uh, hit him and his mother and all this. So Thank you very much for watching us on YouTube. Make sure that you also listen to us on Spotify.